In this lab, we are going to practice batch programming, and the target is to find information about files. The description is like this. Write a small batch program showing file information, and the program should be well commented, and it has the following functions. Here the program name and the usage. The name is file info. Is the usage. Here you can type file info followed by the file name. Or you type file info forward forward slash question mark show this uh, help. So what is help? Show this usage how to use it. And uh, exception handling. In all our program, we need to process the user inputs properly to handle some e exceptional cases, especially for security programming. We need to pay a lot of attention to users' input. Here, if no parameter is provided, show the usage and exit. If this uh, forward slash question mark is provided, show the usage and exit. If more than one parameter provided, show the usage and uh, exit. Actually, this program can be extended to provide many as many files as you want on the command line, and you show the information of all those uh, files. For simplicity, here we just uh, supply one file name, so one parameter. And if one parameter is provided, but the file we use this parameter command permit to represent the file, but the file not exist, then you show the problem and exit. Lastly, is a normal processing. In two, there are all exceptional handling. Now in, in three, if the file exists, show the choice table and uh, input hint to the choice table. And the input hint here. We have nine functions with the letter F D P A X A T Z Q Q quit. Z finds the file size. T finds the file modification date and time and so on. And uh, please press the corresponding key to select the information. Here these are the keys. Case uh, insen case insensitive. Here the steps. A framework batch program is provided. So you are only required to complete the tasks below. Here implement function 4 to 8 below. Other functions are implemented as a, for your reference. So I want to uh, emphasize these are the rubrics, for example, file percent for each functions. So you need to show you you need a screen capture to show that function you implemented to get this file percent, and also you need to demonstrate it work as uh, uh, as expected. Here, this file percent demonstrate each function works, not only the functions are required for your uh, require you to implementation. All the function described here, including this e exception handling, you need to demonstrate. Uh, here it says fail each, which means only these uh, nine functions. But those exceptions, you should better demonstrate them, even though they are implemented for you. Certainly, some other functions are also implemented for you, because you are only required to implement four, four to eight here. Four to eight. So this uh, program, batch program, here. This is the framework provided for you. And you can see the comments are provided. For example, this part, what does it mean? If no parameter is provided, show the usage and exit. Here we use the technique how to process. How to process the 
command parameters, right? We use this way to see whether it's provided or not. If not provided, then we call a sub function, subroutine usage, and exit the program. So here, because there are exceptions, as we discussed, zero means success. So you would better use some number to represent these exceptions. For example, here, exit change this zero to one, this zero to two, this zero to three, and so on. Only the normal operation we exit uh, zero or successful operation. Here, if a forward slash question mark provided, we show usage and exit. If more than one parameter provided, show the usage and exit. So this is the way how do we detect. Here, if the if the, the second parameter is provided, here it's say not empty, then we show the usage and exit. If one parameter is provided but the file not exist, here if not exist, this is the first parameter, then we say this file not exist and uh, exit the program. After all those exceptional situation, we have this uh, normal operation. The normal operation is a loop. Here you can see the file exists, show a choice or table, show the choice table here, and show the hint. We use this uh, choice command we discussed in the lecture. And we also discussed how to uh, use this uh, error level to get the user selection. We know this selection, user types F is this uh, option one then your error level will equals one. Right? The types two, then your error level equals two. For example, if the, the user types one, we will show the full path name. And we show it here, echo Now you know what this command means. It's unconditional Unconditional junction, right? We run this echo command, then run this echo command, then followed by the full file name, and uh, we know this one is uh, the crack, is escape, so you can show empty space. Then you show the full file name, that full file name is provided by this one, this uh, tiered F1, as we discussed the last class. If you want to try show its drill letter, we use this tiered D1. Driver less pass use this tilt P1. So you can find from from this uh, Wikipedia book the table we used the percent tilt. We use this table for reference. For example, tilt F1 means full pass with the driver ladder. Here here F1, then it will show you the whole path with drive ladder. Here only provided one, two, three. Then ask you to provide four to eight to implement four to eight. Don't Excuse modify. Excuse me, professor. Uh huh. Um, will you be recording this lab? Uh, yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, here. Your implementation, please uh, put only here. Don't modify anything outside of these two realms and add your code here between these two realms. This uh, exit is also implemented for you. You type Q exit B0. Here you see at the end we have a go loop, go to loop, which means it will loop back to this uh, label. It will keep show you this uh, stuff. So then you can choose other options unless you type this Q to quit. If you type Q quit, it will exit the program. The usage sub uh, function we use a set local and local and show the usage. So this is uh, the template 
Now, let's use this template to complete our job. You can use uh, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, and save it. I will use this uh, draw, click draw first, then it will show up here. Ctrl A, Ctrl C, or you use a Git clone to download uh, those stuff. And today's uh, lab 02. Now, I see the file name is required. His name is uh, file info dot bat or cmd. Any uh, those two uh, typical extension for batch program. Here, I use cmd. Then open it with a uh, code. And a control we paste the template here. Before we implement those functions, actually we can run this program to have a look. Here, press your shift key, right click this empty space, open PowerShell window here. Please pay attention, currently you are working in PowerShell, not working in command prompt. Some students make a mistake, they just run inside this PowerShell. You see, here is a PS, means PowerShell. You need to type CMD first, go into command prompt. In command prompt, you will not see that PS. But now we can run that uh, file info.cmd. Without parameter, here now you can follow this uh, exception stuff. We we can demonstrate what this exception handle. Here without uh, without parameter, right? It will show the usage and exit. I press enter. You see the show the usage. File info with a file name. You can use this one to show this help. This is the usage. So exactly this this one. Now if I provide with uh, forward slash and question mark. You see the same thing. Then, if more than one parameter provided, for example, maybe we call it one, two, so you will see this one. Again, show the usage and exit. If one parameter is provided but the file not exist, so for example, one, one is not a file name under my current folder. Because my current folder I have only one file, this is file info.cmd. So it will say one not exist. Then if the file exists, show the choice. So I can type this uh, file info.cmd itself. Here you show this list. Right? Please select what information you want from one to nine. And here Please press the corresponding key to select information. Now we can type from F to Q. First, we will type Q to quit. Q, you see, is it quitted, right? It quitted. Output these stars means it already quitted. Then I run it again. Then I show from one to eight. So in your report, please. Uh, take screen capture of each function you implement and demonstrate it now uh, it asked me to type this letter again first now I will follow the word from F to Z F here type F you see the show this uh, full path name right then D job letter I type D 
you see the job letter is C. The type three job less uh, pass press P. You see this uh, job less pass. The file name only type that in. Now after type that in, and this is uh, number four, and I didn't implement it. So you see two lines of stars. Nothing show up between those two lines of stars. If they implemented, you see here, the output will sh show between these two lines of stars. But here I, I don't have it because I didn't implement it yet. The same as uh, file 6, 7, 8, for example. File 8x, no. 6a, no. 7. 7 you see it does not work if you type 7 or 8. We only it only accept this uh, letter support here. So 7 is uh, T. Again, nothing shown between these two lines of stars. Then 8, also no. 9, you will quit. 9, quit. Quit, quit we need to type Q, quit. Okay, it uh, quitted. Because I didn't implement uh, 4 to 8. So now, based on this uh, code template, here you see the Im implementation can be done uh, quite easily, right? You only need to copy these lines and paste it uh, several times. But please pay attention put between these two RAMs. From 4 to 8, we have file functions need to uh, need to be implemented. So I paste file times. Now I need to change this number for file six seven eight. Again, I need to change this uh, information title. Four is file name only. Right? Control C. This is for the four file name only. And uh, this file file name extension. Six file file attributes seven file modification date and a time eight file size I save it. Now I need to change this uh, tilde, person, person tilde with the reference from this table. Here, that table is, is here. So just follow this table. File name only. For file name only. Which tilde operation is file name only? You see the file size, file name extension, including the period. And you see the output. Here is the file name only. Right? This is the output. So we can use this one, tilde n1. So this one change to n. And that extension is x. Oops, I made a mistake. Control Z. Here is what we want to modify. Here, file name only. This N. And the extension is uh, X. Uh, extension is X. And the attributes is A. Then the Modification date and uh, time is this one is T. 
And the last one, the last one is what? Size, so it's Z. Change Z, Ctrl S, save it. N, X, A, T, Z. So now you see uh, it looks good. So we can run it again. This time I only demonstrate these uh, file functions. Here I want to choose another file. How could we find a file? We can use a where, for example, notepad dot exe. Then you see there are two places that contain this notepad. We can choose this one as an example. Right click, the you copy it, right click, you copy it. Then delete that one. You can use a quote to quote this file name. Then press enter. Here press enter, it show me, here it show me this, uh, this choice, right? So I press uh, from four, is n name only. I type n, you see file name only, this notepad, then I tap F, uh, extension is X. Here you see the file name extension dot exe. And the attributes is A. So you see the attributes is an archive. Then I tap uh, T to find the modification date and the time. Here there's a file modification date and the time. Then the last one is Z, the file size. Here you see the file size, this is in byte. Uh, this uh, program is uh, quite straightforward. You only need to find this uh, table and uh, how to modify it. And uh, please uh, check this uh, book, Windows Batch Program Wiki book, to try to understand why we need uh, this one. Can you uh, map this code with this output? Here the first uh, line of star is this one. Then there's the next line of star. Next line of star is this one. And uh, the information between these two, you see there is a new line. It's is implemented by this echo. You get this new line, uh, empty line. Then there are two empty space. We use this echo with this uh, crat get the empty space. Then we type this uh, file size. This information, and we echo with this one to get two. Get an empty space again. Get a new new line here. This one you will get a new line. After that, you will output the size here. The size. Then you echo dot get another new line, empty line here. This empty line. This is how do you map this code to the output. Now let's have a look on the review questions. We have three review questions, each 10%. The first one, install and run this open stack. Solve related problems, if any, to make the execution successful. So we can right click, find this open stack. I see this release. Here the latest one. Thirteen days ago. Click it. Download this Windows version setup. Okay, I would like to download it and I think I, I have downloaded this one. Oh, yeah, I didn't see it. Here. 
here it is so i already have it so now i go to that place to install it to so download set up open struggle install for anyone accept default uh, options okay it's installed now i will try to run it Open struggle. Oops. Let's try to find from here. Here, open struggle. Right. Click it. It says, "Draw home." It set to an invalid uh, directory. Actually, when you run it first time, you will see you don't have this uh, draw home. So I will remove the draw home. There's a problem. How do I remove that draw, uh, draw home variable? Now you can find this uh, how to set environment variables with the command set x. Here we can find that command set x. Like set, but affecting the whole machine rather than the current console process. If we you use only set, you just create temporary, temporary variables. We use uh, with set x, it will affect the whole machine. So you can we can have a look how to use it. Here there are some uh, explanations. This is set x dot exe how to use it. Computer variable and name. Here you can see some examples. Set x, comoc source. Now, if I want to clear that, uh, or delete. Here I want to quit this one first. Now we can use a set x. To show those environment variables, you can also use a find a string. This find a string command is here. You go to find the find a string command. How do you search the string in a text file? Find a string here can use this uh, one to find, uh, for example, you want to find uh, this stuff. Right. Now I want to find a Java. Find a string. Java. Oh, this set hex will not show up uh, the environment available. We use a set. Find a string. Java. Here you see this uh, environment available, Java Home. In your case, you don't have this Java Home because you didn't set it yet. Now, if I want to clear it with this uh, set x command, how do I clear it? Or delete it? Here you see uh, to set to the system default setting the local environment. We need to specify to set them in the system environment. Here this M. You can scroll down to find uh, examples. You can actually you can use this command to set here computer one if you supply uh so which S computer one you can set Environment variables for other computers, remote computers, computer one, but we only want to set our local computer. So we can use a uh, set x, but before I run that command, I would like to show you how to use the GUI to see the variables, the environment variables. You type environment 
Here you see other time system environment variables. Here environment variables. Then you will see these environment variables. user level, user variables for administrator, system variables. In the system variables, you see that is a Java home. Uh, set x uh, Java home in this way we clear its contents right invert the syntax and make a mistake here you will understand uh, valuable but it looks like a this set x does not support that set syntax. That set we can use this way to clear its contents, but this one you see we cannot use this one to clear it. Let's see whether we have delete. Here you see the delete. We only have those delete command. We don't this set x cannot be used to delete environment variables. So I would like to uh, delete this environment now here. Delete. Now I don't have that Java home. Click OK. I want to set the Java home using command line. Set X Java home. Then followed by the Java. But before I run this one, we want to run that uh, OpenStack again. So you will see what we need to solve. OpenStack, I run it again. It just says this one is not set. Now this time it says not set. Last time it says uh, in a valid, uh, in valid uh, pass. This time it says not set. No Java command could be found in your pass. And please set the Java home variable in your environment to match the location of your Java installation. So we need to install a Java installation first. Here you will suggest to use this Zulu JDK 11. Right click, open it. Now choose your version, suggest you to use 11. Certainly you can use others, for example 13, 15 but at least I use 11. And our operating systems is uh, Windows. Architecture is 64-bit JDK. Now we have only two options. You can download this uh, zip file or this MSI file. I would like to download this MSI, MSI file. I think I will download this one. In the download folder you see this Zulu but now this one is newer, so let's, let's use this uh, newer version. Okay, the download completed. Now go to the download folder and delete that older version. And run this uh, newer version. Here, just choose the default option. In the environment variable, you can see some stuff will be edited by this uh, program. Installing, I want to show you this uh, environment variable. Okay, it's uh, completed. Finish. Okay, right, now in this uh, path here, did you find that uh, Zulu? Actually, it's that installation program. It will add this uh, path 
that is the work is the ex executable file pass to our passing environment available. So you can before your installation of Java you can see you don't have this line. But now it's inserted here. So which means you can run from anywhere to find your Java. For example from here you type Java dash version. Now you see the open JDK shop. So now we have this uh, Java installed. But we don't have that, that Java home environment available. So we need to uh, use, let's use a command line set Java home equals, no, there's no equals, set Java home, then followed by the by its uh, installation folder. You can find from here, program files, Zulu, dash 11. So this is a home folder of this uh, Zulu Java JDK. Can you see, copy it, come here, and paste here. And before you run it in this uh, place, we didn't see that uh, Java home. Right? Turn the Java home. Now press enter. In what syntax? Select Java home. What mistake I made again? Set X if we want to uh, set a variable. Right? Set a variable. My path with this value. Right, it's right. Here we don't have many uh, many examples here. Do we need this one? switch M to specify the machine in the machine environment so let's have a try for n the name the reason is we have empty space here have empty space here then it show L so that's why we need a quotation to quote this path and uh, say apply to my machine environment press enter success special value was saved so now it's saved we can check from this uh, GUI interface so you see Java home is here right is set up here And now we run our uh, open stack again. It still says this job home is set to invalid directory. Now we need to find the program of open stack and solve the problem. Open stack right click more open file location we know here is the shortcut right click again in property find the location here this this location open file location okay we see it's a bat batch script now for this batch script we can uh, open it with our uh, Visual Studio code Okay, check this one. Echo off. Now we should be able to read and modify the program. Run the comments, right? Oh yes, these are these are special variables. You can see if the equal the Windows NT go to this part. Uh, system as we have practiced. If we echo OS, you see Windows NT. 
So if the X window center is set local, and to check this this driver home, let's see how does this program to check the driver home. First, the set driver some driver options. If define driver home, go to this find uh, find a Java from Java home here. You can consider these labels as a uh, sub function sub routines. So it will jump to this place because it's defined. Otherwise, it will go go to this place, set up this Java exe x Java, and so on. And uh, you need to pay attention. What does this uh, percent one here? It means. Here it not means the this percent one we we mean we know it's the parameter from the command line, right? And this uh, open stack of bat does it uh, supply any uh, command line? So we can check how it. Uh, Right click property here you can go to and you see it only supply open stack right and uh, you didn't see any uh, comments command line we, we didn't see and the start in this uh, place no command line is supplied to this open stack dot bat so which means this person one is not the parameter passed through the command line. It's when we go through this part here, we see a set local. So if we set local, then we have a local environment, and this parameter one, person one will be the parameter send to this uh, function and this part we didn't have time to cover in the class you can find it here by yourself going to have set local to see how to create a function here you can see I have a function called my header I right? use this uh, label to represent this uh, function and you can call it like this. You call this function and supply it two parameter, parameter one, parameter two. This two is the first parameter. The file dot text is the second parameter. And this, how do you access this parameter? You can access them sim similarly, like that. Here you can see this person one means uh, here, show up here. Person one is this two, person two is this file dot txt. Just as we pass arguments to a batch file. So now let's check the code again. Here you see these redirections. Through this way, you can find whether Java is installed or not. And uh, we can run Java home anywhere. So Java is installed. And it says, if we here this one if zero success then it go to this exit right because this one java home is not set and no java command could be found in your path this one didn't show up because we type java here it will execute so successfully so we will come to this place and this code are used to handle why it cannot find a java then you try some uh, default place. In all case, our Java can be executed from anywhere, so we come to this place. Now you don't run this one. Execute. Here, execute. Uh, it says if this parameter one. It was nothing to go to an uh, execute window list, but it looks like we have windows. It show up windows. Window list. 
Now, in which place it says uh, that Java Home is set to an invite here, is set to an invite uh, directory. So that program, this program, which means it will, when we run it, it will jump to this place of the world. We want it discussed here. And uh, after this place, it go to fail, it exit. First, it need to, it need to uh, show this home is successfully. And then when you check this place, our draw home is already set here, set to this place. Now, why it does not work? They will ask you why it here it does not work in our case. How could we uh, debug this program? We can add some line here because it jumped to this place. Java Home is uh, set to invite the uh, uh, directory. So we may uh, type echo Java Home. To show this one, to show the job home, to see where it is. So we run this open stack again. Here, you see this job home is set to this place, right? It show up, and this is the right place, but it says uh, is an invited place. So why it says it's an invited place? Here, if this uh, this exe exists, so Java exe. So what is that Java exe? That Java exe it says is and uh, and this place home bin then Java exe dot dot exe. This is available. It is set equals Java, and we do have that Java dot exe. Here we can find with where Java. Exe. Right? It is this place. So what's the problem? Could it be uh, because of that uh, empty space, something like that? Right? Empty space. As we already see a problem when we set X to set this Java home, we get a problem. How about we enclose this one with a double quote? and save it. Yeah, save it. Then we run it again. Home is set to this one, but we do have Okay, here we still need to, uh, because this we have so many code too. It's quite easy to be confused. Start to invite the uh, directory, which means this Java exe does not show up, it uh, exists. Here, if it exists this one, then it go to exit, come here to run it. But it shows this one, which means in this detect, it, is, it uh, didn't detect this java.exe. And we can uh, have a try here if exist let's see how do we uh, try to run this program or get several pieces and put it here to test what the problem it is. Find a Java from Java Home. Here now, 
What does this mean? Set job home equals job home. So what does this mean? There is only a code here. We didn't see any uh, enclosed code. So what's this uh, syntax? It is equals percent. Here we, oops, we have percent here, percent here. This one is a stream process, right? That stream process. You check this stream process. Stream processing. In this way, we enclose it with a two percent symbol, and you can compare that one. What does this mean? This one, it use this uh, equal, it uh, replacement. So, with this uh, string replacement, right? This variable followed by this uh, column, then this uh, quotation. It means it try to replace this quotation with nothing. Replace quotation with nothing, which means we get rid of that uh, quotation here. Get rid this the quotation from that uh, job home. But the job home, uh, we don't have any quotations. So the problem is uh, after this one, what result will we have? This the this is job home we have here. We can echo job home. Right? This is a job. This is our job home. Now we can use those pieces of code to verify the program. If we set this Java home equals percent, oops, let's just copy and paste. Paste here, then we echo this Java home again to see what uh, becomes. It's still here. Because this one based on this string replace is just used to get rid of those uh, quotation marks. Now I want to quotation this one. I quote this uh, job.exe. And I need to uh, set Java exe as Java. Not defined. In this set, we need an equal sign. I'm confused with this set and the set X. Okay, now we have a draw exe, then we can use this one. Copy it. Paste here. So now this. Uh, Java exe is uh, changed. I echo this Java exe to see what it, it is. Here we get this one. This is uh, what we, we have. Now it says if it exists, go to exit. But we get this uh, result, which means when we check it, 
we get a uh, not exist. So we can copy this one, Ctrl C, paste it here. Here it already use quote, so my quote is uh, redundant. Echo, let's say, exist. Let's just echo yes, if we exist, echo yes. No, we didn't see yes, right? We didn't see yes, which means it didn't find it exists. Now, if I don't use that uh, quotation mark, because I already have quotation mark. And press yes. Here you see yes. We, we did get yes. So let's remove that quotation mark. That quotation mark where we are. Make the. Uh, because the quotation mark is ad added here. Now, in our case, if it exists, then it go to this uh, execute, but it jumps up this uh, Java home is set to invert, invert the directory. When we check here, it does exist because we get this yes. Now we run this open stack, it still says this one. Uh, you want to match the location of Java installation. So what's the problem? It jump up to this one, right? Jump up this one. So this is uh, weird. We this exists, it should come to this uh, exit. But it uh, follows to this place, which it shows not exist. Now let's try some interesting things. If not exist, we jump to this uh, execute. So could we use not exist? Oh, not exist. Oops. Can I use else, but I want to see whether we have uh, here. If not exist, we don't have this uh, way to write this uh, to test the existing. And now let's run it again. And that change change to not exist. Windows cannot find this dot uh, ext. So that Java dot exe is empty. So now we <coughs> find the problem. The problem is that Java exe, this one is empty. Here you set Java x, set Java exe equals Java. So why it becomes uh, empty? We can echo this Java exe to have a look. Connect S, save it. Now we run it again to have a look to find the problem. In which location just Java exe disappeared. So we still come to this place. So this Java exe, uh, it looks like. We need to, in this set local, after we set the local inside this place, we, the Java exe, it does not go. If we define a Java home, then it is switch, uh, it skipped this place, skipped this set Java exe. That's why Java exe is empty. So here is the problem. Now we find it. We need to, this one, control C is. We put it here. When the job from home, we'll come to this place. And in this place, we 
with the, the draw ex is not set, it's empty, right? From here you jump to this place, that draw ex is not set in any of this place. So you can paste here, point s, set draw ex equals Java. Now, this time, we find this problem, what it is. Open struggle is set to an invalid environment. The problem is because we change that exist to not exist. Now this time it is detected. So we need to remove this not. Can I just save it? And run it. Here it pops up. Now you see a debugger or a batch program without uh, those debugging tools is uh, quite tedious. Inside of Visual Studio, you debug a C sharp program language is quite easy. But here you see we need to uh, try lots of place. Also for the commands, I don't remember those commands, so I need to refer back to those reference again and again. So we solved the problem. The problem is, is because it, this Java EX is not set before it try to uh, execute this uh, Java EXE. So this is a problem. All right, now go to a question. Your question two: Create a simple batch program to back up Windows events about security and a test it uh, works. This program is uh, provided for you, so you only need to uh, test it worked. Here, there's a program. Echo off. We have a created back up there, or you can set it to this uh, directed to the place you want. Then CD to this uh, place. And uh, get the date and the time, save them into two variables. Here you see this uh, this one, this string replacement. I replace this uh, column to this uh, dash. Otherwise, in your file name, because you cannot uh, contain the column. Then I copy the, those uh, events whose name include security copy them to the current folder, to this backup folder. And inside this backup folder, I run this 7z to archive those event files. So right, now let's uh, copy this program and run to have a, have a look. You need to check whether your 7z is installed or not. Here, you, how do you check it? Let me let me see. In lab zero one, I think uh, you are asked to install seven zip. Lab zero one on the Windows or your Windows server machine. Here, install. No, I didn't ask you to install seven Z. So you need to install seven Z to make this uh, program work. 7z, you go to this place to download this 7z, make sure you use the correct version, Windows 6 for a bit, download and install it. Then it will be installed under this folder. By default, you just choose all default, uh, default options. It's installed under this folder. Again, I click door, then Ctrl A, Ctrl C, come to my photo I created today. We just solved the open stack problem, so we can close this one. And the program, close it. Come to the photo I created today. Lab 02. Now I can create, 
Oops, it should be lab 0, 03. My mistake. Because today's lab is lab 03. Try again is using because I'm inside this uh, lab 02. CD up one level. Okay, lab 03. Now inside this lab 03, we can create a backup. So if you want to put your backup and other folders, please change the, the folder in your script. So I change it. I create one called backup. Now where do I put this uh, script? It does not matter because the program will go to that backup folder. So I just put it here. Control A, now I create uh, backup.bat and paste the code. Control S, save it. Okay, now I want to run it and let you see the files. Those events files will be copied here, then be archived after the archive is created, those events file will be deleted. And you can check the 7z how to use it. Here SDL means after you archive those files, the original files will be deleted. You can run that uh, 7z program files. Called uh, seven dash zip and the program name is called seven Z. Then you can use dash dash help to have a look. Here you see this uh, parameter you, you need if you run seven Z from command line. How to specify this command line? You can check the online document to see its detailed explanation. Here, please pay attention to this uh, backup folder. Now I will run that uh, backup batch program. CD to my lab 03. And uh, there are, you see my backup dot bat is there. Now I press enter, please keep an eye in this uh, backup folder. So the files are copied. System error. The syntax is not right, so now I have some problem. So it says cannot open file. So we need to solve this file. It cannot open which file? It cannot open this file. Here we see we still have some columns. Now we have some columns in, in this uh, file name. That's why it cannot be. Um, open up, it created this file. Now if you scroll down to see that file is not created. So where did I, why did I get this name? Because I want to use the name with a date and a time. But this time, this time I also uh, replaced uh, the column with this uh, dash, but why this one is not, relate, not uh, replaced. So we can have a try to see what this it is. Copy it. Come here, paste it. Oops, I always need to copy several times. Here, this is uh, score date. And score time. Now, those two variables, they are used in this file name. Uh, used in this file name. So 
I copy this file name and try to echo that file name to see what it looks like. Here you see I get this file name, but this columns are not replaced by this dash. In this date, you see they are replaced with this uh, dash. Right? Here, if I use a uh, echo the time, so I get this one, the time. So, why this time I, it uh, does not replace? I use uh, the syntax. Or string replacement, but the date is replaced. You can have a look. Echo date. Oops. Now you see this date. This dash. We if without that uh, replacement, we just echo date. Is a forward slash, so my bad. This means we replace this forward slash with a dash. But in this time, in this time we don't have forward slash, we have this, uh, this column. So my mistake, I need to replace this uh, column or this forward slash to, to be column. So we, we need to modify the the error inside the program. So let's uh, continue a delete all this stuff. Go back. Modify this uh, back dot backup dot bat. So I want to replace the colon inside the string with a dash. Okay, it's saved. Yes. A good idea is test first in the command line. Oops, always need to copy several times. Okay, now I echo that time again. So this time you see it's replaced with a dash dash, but I still have a dot. I don't want this dot to be here. Now it's okay, even though it's okay, you you can contain a dot in your file name like this dot sixty nine dot seven z. You can add add more one more sentence to replace that uh, dot with a dash. So you can do it by yourself. Now I, I would like to show you this uh, way it work, what it looks like. First, let's copy all those file name and this uh, Windows event folder. That the file name contains the word security. So now I just back up. Dot bat. Oops, I'm inside this backup folder. I need a CD go up to level zero three. Backup dot bat. I run it. Okay, you see everything is okay. And the 7 is generated. And those copying and the delete, we didn't see it because it uh, happened too fast. Add a new data to 18 files, so many bytes, everything is okay. So we get this one. So now our, our bad file worked. It worked. So, as an IT professional administrator, usually you need to create uh, schedule tasks to run them automatically. For example, I want to here, I want to create a task named my daily routine to run this uh, simple batch program to back up those uh, event files. So how do I schedule a task to run automatically? For example, in the midnight, you back up all those security uh, files, loggers, happen today. But in the demonstration, you can run it uh, every minute for testing purpose. 
what if I, the scheduled task is triggered as expected and delete the, the scheduled task because it, if you run every minute it quickly will use up your disk space that's why we after your after your demonstration delete it here use this schedule task command to create a task you can check the syntax how to use it schedule task commands it has a sub commands change create delete and query run and see how to use it and see the syntax schedule task create here you can open this create create a new task create a task with some parameters the schedule type is c could be minute hourly daily weekly monthly and the tn the task name the task name i put uh, my daily routine and then this tr the task you want to run that tr could be your uh, here this tr the program or command that the task runs type the fully qualified path and file name of that executable file or, or script file or batch file otherwise if you don't supply the full path you can copy it to this folder system load windows 32 folder and we will supply the full path you can also create for a remote machine by default is a local machine other options for example domain you may need if you log into a domain user password and so on so because we create for the local machines the syntax will be quite uh, simple some other options you can check by yourself to have a look before we create this uh, task I want to show you the task uh, schedule here the GUI version task schedule here there is a GUI version task scheduler and you can see uh, the task library is currently I have three uh, tasks Google update created by Google Chrome here status ready and the trigger when it will be triggered here triggered every day now you can see this uh, general is a name there is a name Oops, let's make it a uh, larger here you have triggers here at uh, this time every day it will be triggered and its status is enabled here to expire at this time action here the full place of this uh, program and with a uh, command parameter and double click to have a look Oops. If I want to uh, change it, you can click property to see here the trigger, the, the direction here. You can click edit. Let you see this uh, program with an uh, argument. Add an argument. This is a command line you put in this way. And this uh, option, the parameter, passed to this uh, uh, command. And some other options you can set with the com command line schedule uh, this schedule task create you can see those uh, switches here okay now let's create create ours and I would like to put it here so you can see it's being created So we read with schedule tasks. Right? You can use this uh, help syntax to find how to use it. Now you see something different. Here, delete, create, uh, create, delete, query. We need this syntax, but in the document, that forward slash is missing. Right? You didn't see that forward slash. If you just run this one without that forward slash, we will get an error. 
schedule tasks create you say the invalid argument this create is invalid so if we use that forward slash create now it uh, ask other parameter is missing ta and so on so this is not right based on this output now we can uh, create our task name my daily routine and uh, the task the program here I want also need to specify the trick type SC the trick type trick type as the or schedule type minute I need to supply this uh, minute here now how many minutes for every minute should I specify you can see uh, that is a prime parameter can modify how many minutes is this one modify one minute you can specify like this specify a number from 1 to 1439 by default is 1 so which means I don't specify this forward slash mo then my program will be triggered every minute so let's uh, trigger every minute for demonstration purpose in your real world you may trigger the weekly or daily so as the minute now I need to specify that uh, TR the program right TR is a task the program the program I need to supply the full path so I need to supply the full path of my batch program and my lab 03 can you see paste here called a backup dot PAT okay now we can press enter I suggest you to read the explanation of all other switches or parameters. I press enter, it says success. The schedule task my routine has successfully been created. So you can find here. We need to refresh. Here you see my daily routine. Show up here, start this program, backup.bet, and it triggered. Uh, every minute now you see a flash of that uh, command window then you can check the backup folder right this one one more is created let's just wait one more minute 27 you will see another one is created again Okay, 27. One more file created. You see it worked as expected. So we complete this part. Verify. It's triggered as expected. Now let's delete this schedule task. So we use uh, schedule tasks delete with the task name my daily routine Pass and uh, do you want to delete yes okay success now you have a look my daily routine is still here you need to refresh yeah, you see it's deleted okay this uh, lab 
You can see 28 comes up. We don't have 28. So I don't want this stuff to use my disk space to reach it. 